Hello everyone, this is Rich with BitPunch, and this is part one of my playthrough through The Outer Worlds, not to be confused with The Outer Wilds, uh, some unfortunate naming there. Um, yeah, so we're going to get started here. I did actually play a little bit of this, um, like 15 minutes just to see how it ran and get an idea of how long it was going to take to get through the character creator and things like that. So here we go. New game. And we're going to play on normal. I'm going to leave all those subtitles on. Text size is probably okay. Let's go. So this game was made by Obsidian and released in 2019. Yeah, 2019. Um, Obsidian, kind of famous for their RPGs, obviously. Um, made Fallout New Vegas. I'm a big fan of Bethesda RPGs and totally missed this when it came out. So looking forward to checking it out. Looks a lot like... Fall out so far, except in space, I guess. Hmm, top secret. Breach of hope. Hmm, uh oh. <laughs> so already with some humor here, I like it. Phineas Wells, fugitive. Hmm. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever. Just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Mmm. No good. Alright, so right into it. Okay, so we have strength, dexterity, intelligence, perception, charm, and temperament. Um, so I tend to play these types of games as like high intelligence and high sneak with like hacking or lock picking as sort of a proponent too. So let's see, strength looks like fighting. Uh, oh, you get some intimidate there. Oh, and extra carrying capacity. That's always good. Uh, dexterity, okay, so there's some sneak there. Intelligence, long guns, so I like to play sniper or bow, depending on if it's fantasy or a shooter. Mm, this is definitely up my alley here. Lock picking, long guns, heavy weapons, dodge. Okay, okay. Ooh, persuade, lie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me all that. Hmm. Ten percent bonus to extra headshot. That looks pretty good too. I think I'm gonna double that one. I've got one point left. Ooh, sneak. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to leave out of dexterity and strength and try to go this route. Alright, skills. And let's see here again. I think I'm going to go dialogue, double those up.
Maybe tech? A real scientist. Maybe I should go stealth. Uh. You certainly know your way around a MacBook. Yeah, let's do that. Mm, aptitude. Seems so maybe like your job. Yeah, and each one has a bonus. Elevator operations specialist plus one engineering. Hmm, that sounds pretty good. I am an engineer, so let's do that. At least you're not claustrophobic. Gender, I'm gonna play as a male. Um, face, just go with like a normal looking dude here. Hair. So I'm totally bald, so I tend to find a hairstyle that is not bald. <laughs> it's kind of boring, I guess. Here we go. Make this guy look like a real uh, Peaky Blinders vibe going on here. Uh, hair color. It's kind of blue. There we go. Uh, facial hair. Let's do like a beard, maybe. There we go. There we go. Features. Makeup dirt. Uh, let's give him a cool scar. There we go. Leave the age alone. Okay, what's my name? My name is Rich. Alright, so we are High in mind and personality, low in strength and dexterity. Seems legit. So base base skill unlocks. Oh, okay, yeah. This so is the higher you are. So I've already already unlocked some of these by being over twenty. Okay. Go. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Please power down your engines. Not likely, bootlickers. So he just totally smash and grab me there. Terra 2. I'm liking the look of this so far. Status. Structural integrity down 25%. Our levels down. <sighs> There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Mm. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, <laughs> not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully Great. Long, but uh, I guess we'll see here. Yeah? I guess we I will. The last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, 
My ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck. <laughs> okay. So he needs me to get more of whatever he pumped me with, huh? Yeah, this is... Even this loading screen is super, super fallout. this thing working ah there you are now uh, where were we oh yes the smuggler his name is hawthorne and he should be waiting for you at the landing site he's to be your uh, chauffeur so to speak and not to worry i'm told he's a specialist dashing gunslinger one of a kind ship that sort of thing you'll like him i'm sure i've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so i can track your progress i'll check in with you as soon as you land Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. <laughs> right. Little Halo ODST drop there. shame okay let's look around here yeah I'm really liking the look of this game so far Jump, jump, jump. I wonder if I can jump up here. So I've got this running on Ultra right now. It seems like it's dropping frames. Let's bump it down. Just see what very high does here. Sneaking, okay. Welcome to video games of the last like five or seven years. Tall grass, sneaking. Okay. We made it. Okay. Now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be a 
unforeseen side effects. Okay. Long drop. Let's see here. Ouch. You have low health. Use your emergency medical inhaler. Each of activation causes consumes one Ardrino. Okay, that was that thing I, I lifted off that person back there. Oh hey. Hey, you come here. Okay. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Okay, so Looks I can like help him out. Stopped. I owe you one. Yeah, you, you do. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. <laughs> I mean, what are the odds <laughs> of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. Hmm, See that's probably the spaceship we're looking for. Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, I bet. Yeah, okay. You look there like you're your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo, not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. Ooh. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, <laughs> that time. Got it. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Hmm. Alright, I'm out. Oh, so I can attack. I don't want to kill that guy. He seems harmless. Let's take that though. What's this? Dehydrated water tablets. Oh, is this game going to have hunger and everything else? So I plan on obviously playing through the whole game. Um, I don't know that I'm going to 100% it or anything, but I tend to like to play a lot of the side stuff. Um, The Witcher 3 being one of my favorite games has some really great side uh, quests and stories. So we'll see what's going on here. Same with Oblivion or Skyrim or Fallout, any of those types of games. There's some really good stuff hidden in the side content. All right, let's blow this up. Okay, let's go. So he told me he gave me another weapon. Uh oh, okay. You can have a four weapons equipped at a time by navigating to the weapon and selecting the weapon slot. On this page, you can also inspect your weapons. Players with engineering skills can repair. Ooh, take care. Okay. Hey, let's. Yeah, let's go ahead and equip that. Stranger in a strange land. Okay. 
All right, let's go see what we got going on here. Okay, there's the melee. Whoa. Okay, tactical time. Okay. Pressing the TTD button slows the world down, giving you time to think. You have limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly. Oh, okay. So if I stand still, it doesn't move as slowly. But if, if I move, it'll drain. That's interesting. All right, let's see. So it's kind of like a... Sounded like a little bit of vats here. Alright. Double click the jump button to dodge. Okay. Ooh, that's nice. Kind of like that. I'm just going to take all. View it in the inventory. Oh, that's cool. Armor management to wear an armor or helmet item. Navigate to the item. Okay. Let's see. So that thing is a little more armor and gives me stealth. One handed melee. Hmm. Well, let's keep this thing on for right now. It looks kind of ridiculous. So I blew that guy up. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, bananas, apples. Your hacking and lockpicking skills. Okay. You'll see how many mag picks or shunts you will need. Okay. Okay. Okay, what is the weapon switch? Oh, okay. Okay, so block. Fish sticks. Lots of food so far. Okay. Alright, let's get moving here. Got kind of a long way to go. Oops. Alright, we got a guy down here. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. We got one more. Okay, that guy's gone. Oh, no, he's not. All right, 
Let's grab this guy. Can I grab him? No. That's kind of a bummer. Okay. Oh wow, okay. So I took a bit of damage there, I might have to be careful. Maybe that armor is uh, a little more important. Definitely three of them. Where'd that other body go? Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Ooh. There was a frame drop. Another one there. Let's see how it keeps running here. Okay. There we go. Private Kimball, Lieutenant Mercer. Okay. Friendlies? Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed! Okay. What's up? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. You out of your mind? No way. Once we've dealt with these marauders, I'm hunting that sick freak down. Sick freak? Jeez. You know, need a couple it's of like a parking lady. Parking Start ticket lady. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. And it's gonna be fucking laminated. Jeez. Here we go. Oh, they're not fucking around. Okay. Like, I wonder if, um, if I wouldn't have persuaded her if I would have had to done that fight by myself. Hey. It's kind of an open air. I'm going to run around here a little bit. Pretty big little area. Doesn't seem like this game game is gonna be quite like full open world or anything like that. What is that? That looks like something maybe I don't want to mess with yet. 
Okay. Well, let's move the story forward here. Fast travel to the locations you've unlocked by opening your Please map and selecting the destination. This vessel contains no valuable plunder. Uh, okay. The unreliable. Okay. Unauthorized access of space-faring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Uh, Hello, no. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Hmm. <laughs> Gesture procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Prepare to eject all born parties in five, four, three, two, one. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express <laughs> disappointment. <laughs> I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, <laughs> then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Whatever helps you sleep at night, lady. I Let's do this. You are speaking metaphorically. <laughs> you wandered outside this ship and experienced a permanent, life-changing encounter. The old you is dead. Welcome back, Captain Hawthorne. I extend felicitations and congratulations on your life-changing experience. I understand. <laughs> you are going undercover with an alias. I will update my discretion protocol accordingly. Unfortunately, Great. our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Mm -hmm. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Hmm, okay. Skill improvements, anti Cleo. Hmm, okay. So you get them up to 50. After 50, you can add points to 100. Okay, every 20 points, you get a special unlock. Okay. Gained a level. Okay, so let's Well, 
Oh, I have nine points. Holy crap. Why so many points? I must have missed something somewhere. Okay, let's, let's keep doing that. You've unlocked a dialogue combat when attacking a correct type of target. Okay. Perks. Selecting perks. Welcome to the perk selection. Okay, every two levels. Acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available. Okay. You can acquire perk points through gameplay, such as accepting a flaw. Hmm. Fifty percent base health. Walk speed, sprint speed. Mm, that's a good one. Ooh, that's a good one too. I think I'm gonna go max here on this. Well, Okay, I'm going to go recharge rate for now. Find a power regulator. Unreliable's power regulator. Uh, okay, we need to go to that little town. Okay, so condition is 96. Oh. I can't repair it yet. Okay, let's go this route. Yeah, definitely liking the looks of this game so far. The navigation console is offline at this time, Captain. All right, all right, all right. Uh. I'll be with hey. you, friend. I'm Ernie. From the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Town sent me hereabouts to check on the guards. Now, it seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but seems to me that the ranking officer is dead. Mind telling me what happened here? Well, yeah. Mm. They had a bit of a problem. Altercation, you say? Yeah, shame as that goes. Spacer's Choice policy strictly prohibits dying during work hours. I guess I'd better get to cleaning up. Can't just leave company property scattered about, blading out on the oh, dirt. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, no can do, friend. That armor's Spacer's Choice property. Bodies, too. Living mm. or otherwise. 
company policy, you see. You don't want to amble on over to Edgewater at your earliest convenience. The constable's office might have work for someone with your, uh, let's just say, aggressive disposition. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, be sure to stop by the Edgewater Provisioner for a can of salt tuna. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. Don't get paid bits to chat with strangers. You want to chew the rag, go talk to Silas over by the cemetery. Okay. So it said I had a map? Okay. Oh, okay, so this isn't terribly big. Those big dudes are still hanging out over there. Uh oh. Successful attack while sneaking, flick section, higher sneak skill. Okay. Alright, let's do this. I kind of wish there was like a silent takedown or something. Oh shit, there's two or three of them here. there. I don't know how many of those sabers I need, honestly. Hmm. Killing the locals, huh? There was definitely a dude up here hmm uh oh That's not an instant heal, really, either. about to get in the fire. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, okay. Well, that's a cool look there. Got a dock or something down here. Okay. Definitely chosen for a sniper or something. Something more silent than this pistol. Oh, what is up there? Oh, here's a bridge. Hmm. 
Okay. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Oh, there's Silas, okay. Running around in a marauder's attire. You're liable to give some people the wrong idea. Hmm. <laughs> Don't be so sure. It's in poor taste. Dressing up like a marauder is disrespectful to all the workers that got eaten by him. Ain't eaten. safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Hmm. How are we gonna do this? Let's see what this Please does. Make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into mm. town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes mm. the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting rent means them? money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under, free of charge. <laughs> Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. Mm. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Okay. So he yeah. wants me to go collect debts, essentially. Okay. We'll see how that'll play out. I wonder if I can put this thing away. No. There we go. Oh, nope. Double tap. Didn't get rid of it. Alright. Oh, transition, huh? So we made it to Edgewater. I think this is going to do it for episode one. Um, next episode, we will explore Edgewater, talk to these people about their grave sites, and see about getting that power regulator for our ship. Get the heck out of here. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next time.